Good evening and welcome to St. Bartholomew's evening prayer. Let us begin with a colic to center our hearts and our minds on Christ. Bless, O Lord, we thy servants who minister in thy temple. Grant that what we say with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts we may show forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening prayer begins on page 115 of your prayer books. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. The confession of sin may be found on page 116 of your prayer books. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light may be found on page 118 of your prayer books. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 119, verses 73 through 96. The section begins on page 769 of the Book of Common Prayer, or may be found in the PDF file. We will read it in unison. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I trust in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul has longed for your salvation. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise, and I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a feather flask in the smoke. I have not forgotten your statutes. How long, much longer must I wait? When will you give judgments against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with lies. They had almost made an end of me on earth but I have not forsaken your commandments. In your loving kindness revive me, that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness remains from one generation to another. You establish the earth, and it abides. By your decree these continue to this day, for all things are your servants. 
If my delight had not been in your law, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments, because by them you give me life. I am yours, O oh, that you shall save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lie in wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see that all things come to an end, but your commandment has no bounds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. We appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you, and have charge of you in the Lord, and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves, and we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Beloved, Pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly command you by the Lord that this letter be read to all of them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together the Song of Mary, the Magnificat, found on page 119 of your prayer book. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our forefathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar, or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given, and from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing he fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing! And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. 
He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our liturgy continues with the Song of Simeon, found on page 120 of your prayer books. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed can be found on page 120 of your prayer book. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Suffrages A may be found on page 121 of your prayer book. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us into safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that is in companionship with one another. Your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, either aloud or in the holy silence of your hearts. Please join me with the general thanksgiving found on page 125 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, 
by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.